What's up guys, Shalagalai here with RafaCraftMC, and today I'm going to show you a new redstone creation I made, which is a trap of sorts designed to be used with adventure maps. Now, first I'm going to show you the redstone behind it, and then I'm going to show you the actual trap. As I go around this corner, you see a clock, you see some pistons, you see a bunch of obsidian, you see some more pistons, and you're probably wondering what this is about. Well, what happens is, as you walk into the trap, generally more of as part of an adventure map, like I said, you'll step on that pressure plate before going through the door, which then sends a pulse underground, one side of it coming out this way, and the other side going up this vertical redstone out here. When this happens, the clock, both clocks are jump-started, and, and all the pistons start firing in order. The clocks go at the same time, I just need to duplicate it for ease of redstone. Now, inside these huge devices are actually t t two cobblestone generators per side, and they're being used to actually push the sandstone blocks, which will be shown in the front of the, of the uh, trap, to make it actually look like you're, it's a wall being pushed towards you. And that's pretty much the redstone side, so I'm just going to show you the trap now. You walk in, and you instantly hear the wall starting to close behind you. Yes, it's going a little slowly, but if you're just really bad at parkour, or you decide to try to cheat the system and just stand on here, you'll get pushed off, and then you're stuck inside the lava. Now, assuming I'm on survival mode, I would be dead, and that's pretty much how the system works. I actually don't know why this side seems like it's just one block behind the other, the top left. But overall, it's still pushing in sync. I'm not. But it's not that hard of a fix. It's just a simple change in the way you're deploying everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll keep watching for the next one.